I want to talk to you today, someone who is healing and going through one need or the other. In this world, there are problems, there are difficulties, and helps are not easy to come by for somebody to help you. But I want to tell you something. And if you will understand this and obey, you will find out that God will be your help. I've talked to you some time ago that every human being needs help. But you can't trust human being. Maybe you think that there's a man there who can help you. There's a woman there who can help you. There's a government there. So maybe you want to maybe make noise. You may you think you have your rights. So you want to pursue your rights and what not. I want to tell you one thing. And this thing, I want you to take it seriously. If you obey it, you make your way through this world a little bit easier for make it easier for you. But first of all, I'm going to tell you why human beings may become the persons that are under oppression, the oppressed by others, why people can become victims of oppression, victims of wickedness, victims of madness. They will become victims of the world. The whole world is put in the condition that everybody is suffering, but some are more victimized. And I want to help you. I want to tell you how you can be protected and saved by God. And it's very simple. But it's not a matter of maybe you think you believe in Christ, so that's enough for you. You believe in your prayers. You think that maybe a man is telling you to do something, so that is enough for you. But I'm going to tell you that that is even the worst place, the worst t choice. If you think that, well, because you, you live good, God has forgiven your sins and when you sin, you go to God and say, God, forgive me my sins. You think you can pray. That's ribaba, ribaba, ribaba. You think you, you pay your money, all right. The tithes they are giving to you to pay, you pay it, all right. You give first fruit every year. You give offering to church. The bishop is your best friend. When you have need, he will pray for you. You think that you've surrounded your house with olive bottles of olive oil. This is your deliverance. You think that you know how to pray. You can go to the temple to pray. So that is enough for you. I want to tell you something. And what I want to tell you is that I want you to be very serious. Those things you have put yourself on, those things you think are your salvation, those monies you are paying, those commandments that were given from Sinai by Moses, what the prophet taught, what Malachi, what how Daniel prayed. If these are the things you put yourself on, I want to tell you that they are the reason for your destruction. And you'll be more miserable even than atheists, people don't believe in God. If you don't know anything, look at the Israelites. Watch the Israelites. Are you better in those things than Israel? Do you think you obey the Ten Commandments? You know the Sabbaths. You think you know tithes. You know first fruit. You think you know anointing oil. You think you know prayer sure more than the Israelites? Is that what you are thinking? I want you to change your mind. There is only one way to have peace in God. And that is Jesus Christ. He is our peace. Ephesians 2.14 Jesus Christ is your peace in this world. But 
you can choose Jesus Christ and also choose Moses, Elijah, Malachi at the same time, Abraham, Abel at the same time. That is the ignorance we are living. You can say you believe in Jesus and also believe in Moses, Malachi. You believe in Abraham. You believe in Abel. This, they, they, they did that. They said that. They commanded that. And at the same time, you believe in Jesus. These are different ministries. You said, oh, but God sent all of them. Well, God is only reconciling you to himself in Jesus Christ. It's not in Moses. When you are in Jesus Christ, you are not in Moses, in Malachi, in Abraham, anything. But if you will obey the faith in Jesus Christ, if only Jesus Christ and his name will be the only thing you believe here in life for your salvation, for your deliverance, blessing, prosperity, and peace, and protection, then you will also receive everything that has been mentioned in the Old Testament. It's as simple as that. Because Jesus is not only reconciling you to God in himself, he is also there, has fulfilled everything you need to do to inherit the Old Testament. That's what he said in Matthew chapter 5, verse 17 to 19, which have been translated wrongly to you. He said, I did not come to destroy the law and the prophets. I come to fulfill them. So, if you understand the gospel very well, 2 Corinthians chapter 1, 19 and 20, 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 19 and 20, see, all things in Christ are yea and amen. You will never be able to preach God yourself. No, no commandment, no obedience to commandment, no tithe, no first fruit, no anointing oil can cause you to please God. It is only faith in Jesus Christ. And if you say you have faith in Jesus Christ, it means you don't have faith in yourself. You are not sufficient of yourself. Your sufficiency has to be in Jesus Christ. Because God has made him to be in your wisdom your righteousness, your sanctification, and your redemption. <laughs> Jesus Christ, he is your righteousness. It's only through him that you can please God. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 30. So if anybody comes to you and says that, well, you are a Christian, you go to church, and this is very miserable. People are gathered into church where they mention the name of Jesus. But what they taught there is Moses. It's Abraham. They taught there is Something which Malachi has commanded. Something Moses were giving to minister. And they still call these people Christians. Why wouldn't they suffer? Because it is these things they are teaching you that cause the Israelites to suffer till today. The Israelites, you can never be better than them in those things. But you know what? Because of those commandments and sacrifices and all dance that were given to them, they were destroyed by pagans, pagan kingdoms. Until today, the word of God says that they will be trodden down by Gentiles to the last day. So whatever is happening, no president in this world can give peace to Israel. It is only Jesus Christ, but that is the end of the day. They will be trodden down. Even worse things to Israel is coming. But a question I want to ask you is that God has put Israel in this condition because of you. Because in Romans 11 verse 25, it's because of you that Israel is suffering. So God will save them at the end. Romans 11, 25, 26. But you, 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 you are so ignorant. Look at the life of Christians today. Is more than miserable. Why is it that Christians who rather call the name of Jesus Christ are the ones who are even suffering more than even atheists, than Buddhists? It's because of ignorance. 
believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. All the prophets testify that it is faith in Jesus Christ that you, your sins can be limited. Act 10.43 Only faith in Jesus Christ. All the prophets, that's their testimony. So the apostles were commanded that they should preach to every person in the world that it is Jesus who is going to judge the living and the dead. It's not Moses. It's not Malachi. It's not Abraham. It's not Abel. So why should you claim to believe in Jesus and still claiming to believe in Moses? Believe in prophets? But don't let your prophets, your bishops, and your churches deceive you. Because at the end, you will not see any of them. You will see only yourself. So may God bless you. If you want God to be your help, the Holy Spirit is there for you. By listening to what the Word of God is saying, in Galatians chapter 3 verse 2 and verse 5, Galatians chapter 3 verse 2 and 5, he said, this will I want to learn from you. Do you receive the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, through the works of the law or by hearing of faith? Two things here, works of the law or, he didn't say works of the law and, he said the works of the law or, by hearing of faith in Christ Jesus. Verse 3. Are you so foolish? Verse 5. Verse 3. He therefore that ministered to you the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, and worked miracles among you, is it by the works of the law or by hearing of faith? I want to tell you that if anybody is selling anointing oil to you or asking you to go and buy your anointing oil, pay tithe, sow seed, give your first food. Obey Ten Commandments, keep Sabbath, and give those things. I want to tell you that no matter what miracle he's making, it's false. And he's the reason for your destruction. That person. Because Jesus said in Matthew 24, verse 24, that false prophets, Antichrist, shall come, and they shall perform great signs and wonders, that if it is possible, they will deceive the very elect. So don't let their miracles deceive you. Listen to who are they preaching only the faith in Jesus Christ to you or they are touching what Moses has said, has commanded, what Malachi, what Daniel has done, what Eber did. Watch them very well because they are the reason why you cannot have peace in this life. You cannot have help of the Holy Spirit. Why the name of Jesus will not function when you are in difficulty. May God bless you and give you understanding. Amen.